Howdy folks, welcome to episode two. Today we're going to go ahead and pick up our passenger. Let's see, what do I need to do to open the door? Which one opens the door? It's one of these. It's one of these things. Where's my control for opening the door? There. <laughs> T does it. I thought that I had one of these set up to do it. No? Really? I swear I had one of those set up to open the door. Okay. All right, and let's go. It says base button six. Is that this one? Yeah, that's six. Okay. All right, let's go to Nord. Let's do it. And I was looking at the map, and there's a see, there's a volcano like directly between us and Nord. So we are going to go over this way instead of going directly in the path of the volcano. There we go. See, that's to deliver up. Ooh, there's a sample there too. We're going to go grab that sample on the way back too. But we're going to get the passenger there first. And we're going to go this way. There we go. We'll drop too quickly. There we go. And we can we can land anywhere on this thing. Wow. I'm like going sideways now too. I think that's a new thing. We're like drifting sideways. It's actually kind of cool. I'm glad that it's doing that. But it's, it's like a new thing. Um, four, five, six... There we go, and base button six. Come on. Nice. Nice. That was cool. I actually got there in time. All right, um, they need, yes. Yes, we'll do that. Cool. So we're going to take this person to uh, back to home base, basically. Back to Aslan. And can we go? All right. The weather is quite peculiar yeah in other words we're gonna get we're gonna hit that storm or something right that scripted storm at the beginning that you hit every time it's somewhere in the beginning of the game here you like you're in the middle of some mission and all of a sudden yeah all of a sudden like this massive wind smacks you in the face and throws you into the volcano <laughs> right okay so Aslan is right over this other the second hill we're gonna do that and then we'll go grab that sample but I just wanted to see maybe we can get our other upgrade if we can get there we got 20 seconds to land come on there we go I don't think we're gonna make it 12 seconds yeah I don't think we're gonna make it in time here let's do this we're gonna strafe sideways there we go come on no we didn't make it in time but we will be able to get our fuel and stuff. Actually, I don't even need to land here to refuel because I want to land at the, um, there we go. I want to land at the, uh, whatchamacallit, here, let's, let's get up on the thingy here. There we go. Yeah, I wanted to land, I wanted to go into the repair bay or whatever, the upgrade bay. So let's do this. There we go. And base button six. Come on. You can get out. Thanks. Okay. So I've got 4,400. I don't remember what our upgrade costs. Let's go check it out. Because um, we can... We can... Uh, we can fuel up while we're doing this, too. While we're in the hangar. So it's not a problem. There we go. Right over there. All right. Let's get the spinny arm thingy. Yeah, see, here comes the spinning arm thingy. I'm still trying to use this to to move around. And there is an update. It's got like the, the crosshair flew up in the air with me. There's There was an update, and I'm not sure what all was in it. So what do we need? We need, um, we need to recharge for one thing. So let's do that first, and then we'll see what we have left. And suspended batteries... Is that that's what we've already got installed we've got the light chassis installed and do we have mongoose engines point eighty seven. yeah we have that we already want the light chassis don't we I don't know it's it gives us 20% more rigidity but yeah I don't think we need that I think we've got everything well we might I don't know we might want to buy the chassis but yeah we do have the good engines and everything now 
So, because I kind of like the, the light chassis. Yeah, it only has half as many hit points. And it doesn't weigh that much less. Yeah, so I think we will end up upgrading the... Uh, I should do that while I'm repairing. We, we, I think we will end up upgrading the thing. So we need to save up 5,500 in order to do that. Because I do want to go across the ocean. We do need to get across the ocean. But let's we'll go pick up that sample. And that's good. I'm used to that taking forever. And I think that's the only ship, right? Let's let's see. See if they have any. Huh, they do have you can buy the ox here. Okay. Cool. That's neat. Alright, we're gonna exit the hangar. You can buy the bigger ships here. I don't think you I don't think it was possible. I don't know, maybe it was possible and I just never did it. We offer you a ship with variable wing and available right now in space. Yeah. They do that and they make it sound like, you know, here, we're going to give it to you. No, you have to buy it. They actually want you to pay for this stuff. <laughs> ah, the nerve. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can pick up this sample. I believe it was over on this next ridge, not on this one, right? There we go. We'll go over to the next ridge and we'll see if we can pick it up. There we go. Come on. You can stop gaining altitude. Help me out. I got a container in Nord back to the spaceport. Okay. We'll go to Nord and grab that. I can't look down. What, didn't we repair? How do I... How am I... Yeah, I'm already damaged a little bit. Okay, let's go like this. Go. There. Let's get our sample let's see we're gonna go like this and I need to do that there perfect certainly all right well we're still seven meters okay there we go all right now we should be able to grab this sample I hope let's see what it tells us I believe is it trigger is load? Okay, cool. And how much is it? Two tons? Uh, nearest is... Yeah, so who's going to buy this sample? Can we look at the map? Who wants to buy the sample? There's G-type, needed biolocator, needed batteries, nothing. Is it these guys up here that are buying the sample? Sample of native flora. Huh, they've got... Look at the other objects. They have object. <laughs> okay. that's That looks like maybe it's a bug. But, uh, okay, so sample of native flora, and that's what we have. All right, cool. So we're going to go up to Nord and grab... Should we go up to Nord and grab that? And then we'll bring... No, we need to bring the samples first. So let's do this. We'll go like this, and we're going to have to figure out where we're going to fly. I think we can get between these and fly along this ridge so we'll try that just, we just need to watch like the geysers and stuff there we go all right yeah just along this ridge perfect okay and actually I think I hope anyway yeah see we're really getting blasted to the side come on come on start climbing start climbing Start climbing! <laughs> Come on! No! Wow. Just settle down. Settle down. Sit down. Wow, that was bad. Okay, we're going to send out a drone to repair our ship. Because, yeah, that's not good. Um, we need, apparently, I wasn't looking at my lift to see how much, to see how much I needed. Did I break it already? Is that what that, is that what the cracked egg is? <laughs> Or is there another sample right next to me? It's possible that I landed next to another sample. Let's see. Yeah, there is another sample. It's right up there. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's go like this. We're going to take off. We're going to get going vertically first. Before we... Uh, before we go too much forward. There we go. So we have to be more careful. As you see, this little orange line right here is uh is where our throttle needs to be in order to just 
keep from falling out of the sky. So, you know, keep from decelerating downward. That's our neutral point. And, and when you're going forward, you're vectoring your thrust like anything other than straight vertical. That means at that point you are not holding altitude. You're, you're going to lose altitude. So you definitely have to watch. When that thing gets close to the top of your... Uh, to the top of your indicator, it means that, you know, basically you barely have enough power to, to, uh, to get, you know, to keep yourself from falling out of the sky. So, here we're gonna go over this way. We do need to land on the thing this time. Yeah, I've noticed now that when we turn, it does. Um, and you know what? I need to do this. This is what we need to do. And I can't look down. Where's my? Oh, it's. Is it this? It's not this anymore either. Where is my look down? I can't see where I'm going. I can't see where I'm trying to go. There we go. Much better. Much better. I had to use the mouse to turn it. But yeah, every time like I turn left or right, um, it's I'm drifting out of the corner <laughs> that I'm taking. Come on. I always end up doing this when I'm at that point. I end up like hovering too much. There we go. And now we can come on. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Now we're gonna hit our little bubble. At about what is it? About ten meters? Yeah, about ten meters. You hit that little bubble. Come on. And then we can turn around a little. Come on. There we go. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. All right. Beautiful. Okay. So, let's go up here. There we go. Now we can Now we can do that. All right, and we need to sell this, right? For 2200, okay? And we're going to recharge. Definitely need to recharge. And we'll see what this passenger wants. Let's see. Let's go to exit. Let's see if we can let's see if we can get this passenger on board. Let's see what they uh, where they're going, and if we want to take them. Come on, you can do it. Why aren't they asking me? That's the weird thing. They haven't they haven't said anything yet. Usually they're nagging you before you even land. <laughs> you're trying to figure out what you're going to trade and stuff, and they're like, "Come on." No, nothing. Nothing? Hello? Hello? <laughs> nope. Okay. So we wanted to go to Nord. We're going to go to Nord and then we're going to go. We're going to take that stuff back to As As yeah, Asland. Okay. And there's an exclamation point there. I think the exclamation point is that that's where that's going to go or that whatever. But okay. We're going to do this. You know what? Let me real quick. Let's see if they ask. No, they're not gonna ask? Okay, all right. Screw you guys, I'm going this way. All right, we're gonna go around here and we're gonna go around the edge of the continent instead of here, instead of trying to go over the land. We're just gonna go over the edge of the continent here. There we go. And it looks like we've got some serious wind. Is it this one? Yeah, that's the one that displays it. Okay. Got some... Well, at this stage of the game, it's serious wind. <laughs> I know later on, you get some pretty serious... Uh, you get some pretty severe... You get, like, hurricanes and stuff. You're, like, flying in a cyclone, which is really fun. <laughs> it actually is fun because, you know, if, if, it's, if it's super easy all the time, then it's, it's not that interesting. Okay, we need to grab this service drones container go and we're gonna do this and this and we're gonna look down there we go there much better okay we can come down at that now see I think if we keep it right in the cup holder here right we keep our target right in the drink holder, we should land in it. It should give us a good glide slope, I think. We're going to find out. 
I think that's going to be my goal is I'm going to try to do that and see if that'll give me it looks like it's yeah it looks like it's a really good way to do it okay all right let's go like this and hope we're we're uh, strong enough to lift this thing come on there there okay so we're gonna go like this and open up our thingy and then we're gonna use I'm gonna use the keyboard to do the turning here there it is all right so how much is that it says it's two tons right it's a heavy cargo it's two tons let's see what our takeoff yeah we can take off okay we should be able to manage this so as long as we don't have the um, as long as we don't have the sudden emergency uh, winds kick up on us right so we're gonna get some we're gonna get some climb going here I'm really tempted to go around the continent to go over here around the side of the continent because going climbing all the way up this we have 10 minutes left of what he just said something about 10 minutes for something to all pilots completes landing oh cool the big ship is landing I think the big ship is landing at, at uh, the spaceway nice it said something about we have 10 minutes and I think it means for the drones I'm not sure but we're gonna find out cool there it is there's the big ship oh you know what we need to do this come on we need to stop dropping there we go there we go much better now we can very slowly drop I'm just this landing is gonna be a little tricky because I'm gonna have to come all the way over this thing and then come back down there we go and I just have to be careful about how quickly I'm losing altitude because it's if I get up to like to 15 or something and then I get too close to the ground I'm not gonna be able to to stop you know diving I'm not gonna be able to level out in time so deliver a container and I'm not sure if we'll be able to make it over the ocean with this ship I don't think this ship has enough deterioration of flight conditions perfect timing too perfect timing all right come on come on there we go beautiful all right let's unload and how do we unload come on do we unload can we is it is it you is unload yeah there we go whoops what is our reward what did we get what is our what is our reward it says here it is where is it we had 4465 what did we have just before that I think that's what we just had wasn't it that that is no reward <laughs> oh man let's see I guess we're gonna have to go over here so we've got a, the strong wind thing yeah, look at that. There's the yellow arrows, the three yellows. That's a pretty strong wind for this wimpy little ship. So we're going to go refuel and, and see what we can do. That would actually be a nice way to get to the other island if, if that wind's going all the way across. It's too bad you can't see where the winds are on the, um, on the map. That would be cool if you could show the wind vectors. But if we zoom way out here, down here is Raglor. And... It is 63 kilometers. There's our there's our range. So yeah, we're gonna have to save up for the ox, I think. Now they they had it listed for 13,000. So I guess maybe we do get a discount or something. See on here it shows 28. So I'm guessing they're offering it cheaper at the beginning or something. I don't know. But I'm gonna have to check the money. Uh, between episodes, I'm gonna have to check the money and make sure that we actually did get money for that because it sure doesn't seem like it. Because we had like 4,400, and then we fueled up and sold something for 2,000, and then flew back, and now we have 4,400. That does that does not sound right. I mean, unless we spent like 
you know, 5,000 in fuel, but fuel isn't that much. Here, let's go like this. See, our recharge is only 185 credits. No, that's something's wrong with that. Okay. Droids repair kits. That's uh they can only they can only take two G's and we've got a super strong wind. I think we're just gonna look for passengers then. Okay. Cause we have an emergency to deliver the goods to the sure. Okay, what is it? Which which goods? Yeah. Yeah. Trigger. Um, trigger, center thumb button. Okay. And what's it going to do? What's, is it going to, where? <laughs> let's find the, let's find our mission then. Where's the mission? Oh, see, now when we refueled, we can make it halfway there, right? All right. I am not seeing... I am not seeing where the mission is supposed to be. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's over here. It looks like. So we're going to go over to Port Estelle. All right, I'm kind of thinking we should go around this time. Uh, that's that's my uh, inkling is that we should go around. Let's see, let's see how we do in these winds. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Okay. Let's go like this. They're gonna blow on our tail here, and then they're gonna blow in our. They're gonna be headwinds when we come around this. So we're gonna go over to Port Estelle. We do have to be careful. I think there's a sample up here. I don't know if these samples are just randomly distributed in each game or if they're pre-placed. But yeah, I know there was one right over to to the left there where there's a volcano. Because there's, if you look over here, yeah, see there's a volcano right there. Let's go like this. There we go. And we can probably start dropping our our altitude. There we go. The equipment box is over there. And how much do we have for fuel? We're good on fuel for right now. I'm just hoping this equipment box is not going to be something that's too heavy for us to carry. All right, let's go like this. 44. Wow, I really need to slow down on the drop there. There we go. See if we can establish our glide slope here. Not really. There we go. Much better. Alright, so if we keep it at about between 10 and 15 and keep that thing at that angle. Whoa, I need to watch out for that bar that's right underneath me. Do you need to watch out for that? There we go. Okay, we're just going to do this and try to land vertically using the screen on the left, on the right. Whoa! I really hit hard there, didn't I? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Settle down. Settle down. There we go. All right. Wow, I really bounced off the ground there. Let's go like this, and there's the equipment box. I almost, I almost landed on it. All right. What is it? Laboratory what? Let's see how much it weighs. Come on. Open the door. Can I open the door? There. And what's, it's going to show us on the bottom what it weighs. Oh, it's only one ton. Okay. Yeah, that's no problem. We can do that. And now that we've got these extra batteries, we can uh, we can do it. Okay, so where, where are we delivering it? Deliver equipment. Where? Oh, we got to deliver it all the way up there? Okay, and we have 10 minutes to do it? All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. It's one ton. So I think we're going to go over the mountains instead of trying to go around. We're going to try going over the mountains this time. Because there's that ridge we can follow, hopefully. Do need to get some altitude here. There we go. Because we need to get into that ridge right there. We need insertion into the ridge. There we go. All right. It, do we? There's our vectors. Wind vectors. Full forward. Full forward throttle. Let's see if we can get this thing to the... I mean, we should be able to... 10, 10 minutes is way more than enough time. Glad it's not like the taxis where they give you, like, you know, maybe a second to spare. <laughs> if you have, like, the absolute perfect run from one place to the other with a tailwind. <laughs> the taxi stuff is tough, man. 
All right. Yeah, we'll get there, no problem. We just need to not crash is going to be the, the biggest thing. That's going to be the big question. It's not whether we get there, but whether or not we safely land. There we go. Do need to stop accelerating, accelerating downward. Here we go. All right. I keep forgetting to go back into the cockpit view. You guys need to remind me. Start yelling at the screen. <laughs> okay. Start yelling at the screen and telling me to, to go into cockpit view so that I can get used to that. It just needs to be a habit. I've played this game for... I'm, I've got like 84 hours in game now. So yeah, I've, I've been playing this for a while since what, this spring? For like six months? So yeah, it's just it's just a habit to fly in this because they didn't have the cockpit for the first, you know, 60, 70 hours of me playing this. I mean, it was it was fairly recent that they just added in the cockpit. So, all right, let's deliver this. And, um, yes, let's do trigger yes, and let's go, um, can we unload this? Unload. Does that do it? Where's our unload? Where's our, where's our deliver, where's our deliver our package? Here, like this, you is unload, right? Yeah, there it goes, okay. All right, thanks. I am just arrived from Atlantis. All right. Atlantis? The Oceanic Planet. Cool. Head of research focused on, so guess what we're going to do here? Yeah, I can guess. All right, well, um, I get the equipment. Now we can start field research. Um, sure, okay. We're going to get a... We're going to get a sample, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to do that in episode three because we are out of time for today. So yeah, that's going to be it for episode two. Join me in episode three. We're going to see, we still didn't make any more money. Join me in episode three. I'm going to find out what's up with our money. We're going to try to make enough money to buy the other ship and get off the island and go over to Raglar. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it for episode two. Join me in episode three and we'll see you then. Later.